you sold us kind of a sweetie. Yeah. You know, I've had my my college relationship, and now I kind of know like what I want and what I don't want. Yeah. Somebody with a low cut shirt. That's definitely pretty much what you want. Miramar, Miramail, Mermel, Marmalade. Hey, are you okay? Blessings of Mara upon you. I'd like to have a wedding at the temple. You know, I just met this lady. You wish to be She's married? Got, uh, some, some it's cleavage. good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Yes, it's blossoming. Your wedding will be held tomorrow. Your wedding has been arranged. If only it was that easy in real life. I hope Yasolda is like, fine with that. Usually the women want to make lots of preparations and stuff. Boy, you're getting married already. Yeah, this is crazy, man. After college, life just flies by. You don't think you should give Bertolina a wedding invitation? Oh, yeah, you know what? I got her. I should probably invite her. Every time I come back here, Berlina and I, you know, we see each other in the hallway. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> I'm just someone that she used to know, you know what I mean? You didn't have to cut her off. Make out like it never happened and that you were nothing? I, I didn't have to stoop so low. No, you're just some asshole that she used to know. Exactly. Hey, how's it going? Fine day with you around. Come on out here. I'm sorry I said those things. I really am. I just wanted to let you know that I'm getting married. Her name's Yasolda. Um, she wears a low-cut shirt. She's, uh, you know, she's not ugly like you. And um, I just wanted to give you this invitation. So, yeah, you're welcome to come. Uh, maybe we'll see you there. All right, then. Okay, see you there. <laughs> she took that surprisingly well. Well, that's great. She's totally over me. Maybe she hasn't recovered from her head injury. Yet. Well, no, I doubt it. She doesn't probably even know who I am. <laughs> yeah, you know, I could probably uh, go get a little smoochy smoochy with uh, Berlina again, and she wouldn't even remember that we ever did it. <laughs> yeah, you'd never have to worry about her telling your new wife about it. Because <laughs> she would never remember that it happened. She's like the perfect mistress. Yeah, she's like the, <laughs> the girl with the head injury next door. Hey, I'm getting married. Did you hear? Scully. If you know what's good for you. God damn. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. I was just getting married. This is it. This is the big moment. Me and Yasolda. Can you believe it? I... After all we've been through? Yeah. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation. Yeah, well, that must have hurt. Ha! 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 You know how you know Yasolda's a keeper? She has never even seen your face. No, she, she agreed hasn't. to marry you. Oh, Look my at, God. Oh, my God. Lydia. Lydia's here. All of your exes hey, are here. Hey, Lydia. There's Berlina. She came. She totally came. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and that woman you sold cabbage to? That's amazing. Now, shut up. I'm getting married. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? Stop the wedding. I can't. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Under the authority of Mara, uh, you sold the wedding. Sign of love. I declare this couple to be wed. Yay! Wait, you sold the. Wait, well, aren't we supposed to go somewhere? Our new home. I'll see you there. Oh, she has a house? Oh, dude, she already has a house? SCORE! I graduate college and then I just move into some lady's house. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll find out that she's rich. I can't wait to go to Yasolda's house. Oh, she's got a shit-tastic house. Oh, this is nice. What are you talking about? Shut up, you dick. This is my <laughs> wife. I'm home, honey. Honey. This house is very small. She isn't even here. Where the fuck is she? Where's your wife, man? My room at college was bigger than this. Your dorm. At least Tolfdor won't be wandering into my house now and sitting down at my chair. <laughs> now, why couldn't you have married the chick that owns that house? Look at that. That's huge. It's got an upstairs and everything. <laughs> you know, Emery, she lives on, like, the fucking edge of the city in, like, the shittiest house. God, right by the wall. This is, a ni this is a nice view. She's got, like, a scenic view. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't see shit. This is beautiful. <laughs> have you seen Yusolda? Trouble? Yeah, she, my, my wife, she's gone. It's two o'clock in the morning, she should be at home. Well, I'm gonna go sleep in my fucking bed, even if Yasolda's not gonna be joining me. She can sleep on the floor. Wow, what a great first day of marriage. Yeah, I don't know what I got into here. I hope I signed a prenuptial. Hello, my love. Hi. Back from some adventure, I bet. No, I just, I just was sleeping. Uh huh. She just fell right asleep. She's wow. just like, whatever. Well, she was out all night. It's what, six in the morning? Yeah. She just walked in. She just came in. I wonder what she does. I mean, it can't be that good of a job. It's better not to ask questions, <laughs> yeah. I find. You know? She doesn't ask you what you do. All right, well, I just need to uh, stop by the college here and pick up my stuff now that I've got a house. Yep. <laughs> well, you know, Jazargo, this is totally appropriate because it's the last time I'll ever These be seeing are you. Cold. But Gajit feels warmness from your presence. That's nice. I'm sure you do. You know what? You can sit here forever, because I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> Taking my skulls, and I'm leaving forever. All right, I got all my skulls. I'm getting the hell out of here. Wait, 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 wait. What? Didn't that chick at the uh, inn say that there was some shrine around here? 
Yeah, that sounds familiar. Maybe well, I should go check that out while I'm in the area. Might as well. Maybe you get something nice to give to your new wife for a, you know, honeymoon present. She always says I've been out adventuring. I guess it's time to prove that that's actually what I do. <laughs> and not just go to college. If she knew that your real job was to clean up dragon corpses and toilets, yeah, I'm never, I don't know if she would have married you. I'm never even going to mention that whole archmage thing, because it's just kind of awkward now. All right, this is uh, quite the little temple they got going on here. I like it. So do I go up, or do I go in? I think you got to do both to hit the G-spot. I'm not sure what that means, Emery. Hey, uh, what's up? Azura has seen your coming, Traveler. Oh my really? god. She's got the deepest voice I've ever... She must be a smoker. Sounds good. What uh, was this Azura want me to do exactly? You must go to a fortress endangered by water, okay. yet untouched by it. What? what? Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Winterhold? I'm the Archmage. I should know this information already. They don't tell me shit over there. Go talk to somebody at Winterhold. Oh, I am, like, the guy at Winterhold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Greetings, Archmage. Oh, I'm the Archmage. Shut up. Oh, no, I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time. Wait, wait, wait. So does that mean you're going to start pronouncing it correctly? No. <laughs> I would never do that. I enjoy pronouncing it the wrong way, so that's how I'm going to do it. I'm looking for an Elvis May, um, Elvis Mage of Studies. Who sent stars. you? Was it the college? The Jarl? The Priestess of Azura sent me, Persuade. You're working with the Daedra? Yep. Right. What, you don't believe me? Fucking tell me or I slit your nads. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> yeah, see, that always works. It always works. The slitting the nads line. Yep. Always gets him to talk. Azura's star. A Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. I was working under Malin Varen then. If only we knew what he was really planning. What did Malin do, man? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying. Disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside. Seems like maybe that was a mistake. It drove him mad. Oh, Students yeah. started dying. Mm -hmm. Eventually, the college exiled him. Really? He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alter's Deep and vanished. Wait, the college actually did something? Wow. All this interesting shit happened before you became Archmage. Archmage. Ar Archmage. Don't sorry. ever say Archmage again okay. or I'll slit your nads. Oh. All right. See, it I'll works. never do it again. It works in real life, too. All right. So I guess we got to find Azzy's star in Ilanalta's Deep. Don't you mean mm. Azura's star? Yeah, but uh, I think Azura's too hard to pronounce. She needs a nickname. So we're now we're pronouncing it Azzy. Azzy. Well, let's go up to the North Brittle Shin Pass. I think I would like to call it North Titty Shit Pass. What is shitty tits? Titty Shit. shits. Titty shits was not what you said. You said shitty tits. <laughs> I said titty shit. <laughs> but shitty, shitty tits, tits. Is good. North Shitty Tits Pass. Okay, there we that's go. good. We agree on that. That's something. really offensive, so that's perfect. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> a little spinny sword action there. Man, you're like Leonardo DiCaprio with that thing. The end of Inception. What? Sp spinning. He's not spinning at the end of Inception. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is my job now. Adventuring is now my job. Yeah. Because I got to go find stuff and bring it back to the wife. Yeah, she she gets the food, she gives the yep. sex, and you bring back the dragon souls. Yep. Ilanalta's deep discovered. It was nice of this guy to leave his knapsack right underneath him before he died. He was probably killed because his hands were giant. Like, seriously. Oh, yeah. Especially his right hand. Massive, massive right hand. Wow. He must have had a massive dick. Because people that have, like, finger the, the span of their fingers between thumb and forefinger. So, yeah, he probably would have had a pretty good sized wiener. Unless you measure her from his left hand, then it would have been average. That's true. I don't know which one to measure it. This poor guy's dick size will never be known. <laughs> <laughs> It'll remain a mystery throughout the ages. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a, one of those deep topics we talk about in Illinois. deep. <laughs> oh, this looks like a trap room. I bet there's sharks in the water. Electrified sharks. Wouldn't that be cool? Electric sharks? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, Emery. What? How do I get the goddamn railing ladder oh, steps? It's another puzzle. Bridge. You know what you should do? You should do that dragon shot where you zip across 
Will that work? That won't work. You're just fucking with me. It's We're like fucking... a falcon kick from All right, Super let's Smash try Brothers. It. Let's just try this. All right. Oh, yeah. I was right. Okay, so was that the actual way to get across? I don't know. I, you might have just been able to jump across and swim in the water. I was kind of joking about the, uh, the electric sharks. I know there's no electric sharks. <laughs> I really like that spell. It's like... It's fun. It's a slow, creeping, like, ball of doom, and they just never get out of it's the like way. It's like they don't know what to do. They see it, and they're just like, uh, what? <laughs> In fact, sometimes they walk into it. Yeah. They just go right into the danger zone. No, I don't <laughs> think they do that. I'm sure you know that song. Unfortunately. <laughs> now it's stuck in my head. Thanks a lot. All right, where is my special things that I wanted that I came here for? The thing that will make all of this bullshit worth it. Yes, it's right around the corner, I'm sure. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, you broke it. Oh, whoops. Hey, I'm here now. I got the thing. Azura Star. Yeah. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. No, I didn't actually take it out yet. Hand it over to me. Should I do it? I don't know. She does have a really deep voice, and I don't trust people with yeah, deep voices. Yeah, and she's like, give it to me. And she's dark. Like, yeah, it's like okay. Her clothes are dark. No, no, you said something racist. Just <laughs> admit it, and we'll move on. <laughs> oh, just take it. I will commune with Azura. Hmm, okay. That sounds like fun. <laughs> commune that! Oh, shit. I totally interrupted the communion. Hey, come on, get back up here and finish this. What are you doing? Hello? Oh, look, I did it. Yay! <laughs> Greetings, mortal. Hi. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued no. my star from Malan Varan. Yep. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. From this view, Until like, her boobs perished, look really, really massive. Yuck. Stone boobage. Giant under boobage. Uh, is there any way to cleanse the star? I have some special gloves that I use to clean out the uh, fecal points at the uh, College of Winterhold. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Ooh, that sounds kind of sexy. Uh, okay, I'm ready to enter the star, apparently. Have faith, mortal. Mm -hmm. I will be watching over you. Okay, I won't. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. I'm not a fresh soul, actually. I'm kind of old and stale. Oh, you know, uh, you know this experiment that you were doing in Superman's cave? It's over. Who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. Yeah, well, I took over a college in 12 days and got married to a woman in five minutes. Let's see you do that. Aw, oh, yeah. Smack that bitch. I don't think so, you buddy. better yield, jerk. Ha! Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. Cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. What are you going to be using to cleanse me exactly? Clorox? My star has been restored. Oh, okay, And congrats. Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. Right. You have done well. You are free to use my star as you see fit. Cool. Oh, cool. Nice. All right, see you later, buddy. I have a surprise for my wife when I get home. She's going to love this. A big old bag of skulls. Oh, yeah. We sold, uh... Hello? Oh, she's never home. What time is it? Oh, that's right, it's 11.30. <laughs> Why would she be here? So that's what 50 skulls look like all dropping at the same time. She is going to love this. Oh, yeah. This is just like college, except better. <laughs> Home is where the skulls are. This is nice. You sold, uh, where the hell is she? No. Where does she go at 3 in the morning? I want to <laughs> fucking know. Well, she doesn't get to sleep until, you know, 6, 5 or 6 in the morning. Yeah, well, what so... is she off doing right now? She's working. She's the lady of the night. Okay, that is unacceptable. Come on, you knew what you were getting into. No, she is not She's a lady of the night. a single woman with a low-cut shirt who makes enough money to have her own house. And she always stays out at night. I mean, what did you think she was? I, that What you're saying is so sexist and awful. Are you my wife? Anybody see my wife? Hello? Have you seen my wife? We are the children of man. Oh, boy. That was a mistake. Maybe she's at the uh, Bannered Mayor. Maybe. What would she be doing in an inn at three in the morning? I'm not sure, Emery. Maybe you should just shut up. Have you seen Yasolda? I enjoy this work well enough. 
but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what <gasps> do you need? She wants to sell the inn to Isolda? What? Hell yeah! Where is Yasolda? Where the fuck? Need anything else? Let's sell it to Yasolda. I want to live here. This is ridiculous. Where is she? I don't know anything about her. I don't know where she works. I don't know what she does for a living. I don't know how she got this house. Why, why did I get married to someone I know absolutely nothing about? I think she just wanders the, the city at, late at night and helps like orphans and beggars. <laughs> That's what she does. She's like the best person that you've ever met. Why would that woman want to sell the bannered mare to your wife if she was just, like, out helping beggars at night? Holda? <laughs> yeah. Because she knows that, that Yasolda's a really good person. I'm just saying she goes in and out of that inn a lot. Alright, I'm gonna go home and she's gonna be there. What are you gonna do when she's not there? Hmm? What are you gonna do? I have, like, 300 skulls to keep me company. I don't give a shit. Uh... Look! See? There she is. Yasolda, where do you work, honey? Hello, my love. Back from some adventure, I bet. Here. This is your share, love. What? Yeah. Holy shit! See, look at this! She just gave you money! She is the best fucking wife ever. Alright. She what? gave me 400 gold, she cooks me the food. She, you know what she does? She wanders around at night and collects money on the ground. <laughs> That's you what just she's keep, doing. You just keep thinking that. You know what? Just because she came home with 400 gold <laughs> in the middle of the night doesn't mean anything. You don't know. My wife is not a whore.